the state of Mississippi could be on the verge of electing its first ever woman or African American to represent the Magnolia State in the U.S. Senate. The history making vote happens in less than two weeks. Yeah, Republican Cindy Hyde Smith and Democrat Mike Espy will go head to head in a runoff. This after receiving the top votes out of four candidates. Local 24 News political commentator Oda Sanford. Well, he has a look at the potential impact from the outcome in tonight's point of view. A final piece of unfinished political business is set to take place across the state line in Mississippi. It is a special runoff election to complete the remaining two years of retired Senator Thad Cochran's term. On paper, the November 27th matchup is an intriguing one. It pits former Democratic Congressman Mike Espy against interim Republican Senator Cindy High Smith, who was appointed to the seat by Governor Phil Bryant after Cochran stepped down in April. If Democrats had fared better in other Senate races Tuesday, the contest in Mississippi would have gained intense national focus. But with the Senate remaining under Republican control, the runoff will be rather anticlimactic, except for the fact that whoever wins will make history. Hyde Smith would be the first woman ever elected to the Senate from Mississippi, and Espy would be the first African-American senator since Reconstruction. Republicans are determined to keep the seat in their column, with help from GOP loyalists in DeSoto County and the eastern and southern parts of the state, while Espy would be looking to beat the odds by tapping into the sizable Democratic voting base throughout the Delta and the capital city of Jackson. Turnout could be hampered by the special election occurring on the Tuesday after Thanksgiving and the fact that the balance of power in the Senate is no longer up for grabs. Still, this race is important, meaning every eligible person should vote. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.